In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use photo templates within PaintShop Pro to save time when editing and creating photo compositions. Photo templates also allow you to easily create collages, greeting cards, brochures, and more. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. In our first example, we're going to create a collage from a photo template, and we can use these templates over and over again once installed. To access photo templates, click on File, New from Template. From here, you can view the different categories of templates available, like collages, cards, business, social media, and other. I'll click on Collage. You can scroll through different premium photo templates that are available for purchase, or the many templates included free with PaintShop Pro. If you choose to purchase one, you just have to click Buy Now and then follow the payment prompts. Upon completion, your new purchase template will open in PaintShop Pro instantly without having to restart. I'll scroll down to one of the free Shatter Collage templates and then just click on the blue download button. PaintShop Pro will download the template automatically and shortly after, you'll see a blue Install button. Then click OK to open up the template. There are a few different ways that we can bring in photos to the collage. First of all, make sure you have the Layers palette open by going to Palettes, then Layers. You might also want to open up the Organizer palette as well. One way to bring in photos is to browse to the photos you want to use from the navigation icon of the Organizer palette. Let's say I want to use this photo in the Image 1 section at the top of my collage. All I have to do is drag the photo from the Organizer palette directly below where it says Drag Image 1 below this mask. You can also drag photos directly onto the Layers palette from your computer if you have your Photos folder open. I'll drag this photograph from a folder open on my computer directly below the layer labeled Drag Image 2 below this mask. Now let's say you have just finished editing a photo opened up in PaintShop Pro and want to use that photo in this collage. Click on Ctrl plus C on your keyboard to copy the photo, then go to your collage and select the layer under the mask where you want to paste it. In this case, I'll select the layer labeled Image 3 with the arrows and click Ctrl plus V to paste the image. And you'll see that your copied photo will be pasted in the right hierarchy and you won't need to drag it up or down in the Layers palette. Now that I've added all my photos, we can make adjustments to the positions of these photos within the photo template. To do this, select the Pick tool on the left and make sure you are using the Scale mode. Then select the image below the mask from the Layers palette that you want to resize. All you need to do is drag on the grab handles to resize or rotate the photo. And click on the circle in the middle of the image and drag to reposition the photo within the frame. We can repeat this for all photos within our collage. Now let's try using one of these social media templates for posting pictures on Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and download some of these free Instagram templates with a letter mask. Again, just click on Download, and once the blue button says Installed, click OK. For this template, just drag the image you want to use onto the Layers palette and then make sure to click and drag the raster layer so it's on top of the image. From here, we just need to select the Pick tool once again to resize and reposition the photograph underneath. Another thing you can do to customize photo templates like this one is use the Color Changer tool and select a color from the Materials palette. Then click on the white raster layer to replace the white mask with the color of your choice. We can also use this same technique to change the color of the border of the collage we made in our first project. Once you're finished, just click on File, then Save As, and you can save the new image as a JPEG to send or share online. Or you can save as a .psp image to preserve the layers if you want to make any edits in the future. And now these images are picture perfect and ready to share on your social media. If you're watching this video on YouTube, 
you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Paint Shop Pro.